Hey everybody, Dave Basulto, PremiereProuser.com. Uh, in to do a quick tutorial in CS5, Premiere Pro CS5, uh, in the Facebook page uh, for Premiere, uh, someone named Dimitri. Hello, Dimitri. Uh, you did a um, question. You had a question about you're having problems making a preset for rendering, and how can I do that? It's actually really simple, and I'll show you how. So uh, here's my sequence right here. Um, I press Command M to bring up the export settings. Uh, you can also go File and Export. Um, and in the export settings, uh, next to the preset is a save button. So, for example, if I wanted to do uh, export this as a oh, what the heck, M H.264. And, but you know what, I wanted to do it, uh, some kind of a custom setting. Uh, maybe it's my Vimeo, but I wanted to do, uh, um, add a Gaussian blur filter, horizontal, uh, multiplex scene. I wanted to do it for the PSP, for example. Um, I'm going to keep this, uh, we're going to go to 30 frames a second. Um, square pixels, uh, let's see the audio, we're keeping it the same, FTP, um, I can put whatever I want in here. So anyway, so I've doctored it up a little bit. Maybe I want to use frame blending. Uh, so now what I would do is click on this button right here. That brings up uh, my preset. And I'm going to call this Dave's Vimeo uh, Preset for lack of other uh, exciting names. And I have a check mark here for saving my filter settings. It actually defaulted to that because I changed some of the filters in there. Had I done something in FTP, it would have had a check mark there as well. So I click OK and I render it out, I export it, or I go into my queue, my render queue, and it's all set. Now if I cancel this, and let's say I have another uh, sequence, let's see, do I have anything over here? Uh, okay, so let's say I have another sequence here and I pressed, uh, let's go the other way now. I'm going to go File, uh, Export Media, and that brings up this again. Uh, it's defaulting to my preset, and you can see that they're, they're going to be saved at the top. So even if I was in uh, uh, DPX mode, whatever, um, I could also go back into my H.264 and search around and there's Dave's Bermeo preset once again. So you can make a billion presets if you'd like and well, I don't know about a billion but it'll all be saved right there. All you have to do once again is click save preset and you're good to go. If you want to get rid of the preset just delete the preset and it's gone. Okay, hope that helped a lot, and everyone check out the new Premiere Pro User podcast at PremiereProUser.com. Also, if you'd like to be on the show, I'd love to interview you if you're a Premiere Pro or CS5 user. Uh, just contact us at podcast at PremiereProUser.com. We're also on iTunes now, so check it out. Just enter Premiere Pro and you'll find us. Okay, everybody have a great weekend.